Good morning, St. Columbus. Cami here. You know, one of my favorite childhood memories is eating dinner together as a family every night. It didn't matter what we had going on that day. Dinner would either have to be before softball, soccer, youth group, sectionals, and marching band rehearsal, or after. Not always an easy task for a family of six. Phone calls? They'd have to wait. And as mandatory as attending family dinner was, making sure that there was an efficient amount of protein and veggies was of utmost importance. We would sit sometimes for hours at the table together, discussing our days, who said what, and really important matters. Like, were Ross and Rachel really on a break? It was while sharing a meal that we learned compassion for others, patience, love, heartbreak, joy, and what it really means to be tenacious. Lest I forget to mention the lessons on tact. For our birthdays, we would get to choose what the family was going to have for dinner. And though we could choose almost anything in the world, it was always chicken tacos, rice, beans, and galabasitas year after year. Even now, it's our go-to when we go home. I suppose it's safe to say that that's our comfort food. You know, Jesus ate too. In fact, it's estimated that a meal is referenced in the Bible more than 330 times. We hear Jesus talk about eating with tax collectors and sinners. When questioned why, he notes that it's not the healthy that need a physician, but those that are sick. It's over a meal that Mary of Bethany anoints Jesus with a very costly perfume, teaching us that if we allow ourselves to be too busy, we will miss the point serving Jesus. One of the biggest miracles that we learn about in Sunday school is when Jesus creates a meal that feeds thousands with a fish and a couple loaves of bread, teaching us that those who love him serve his children not only with word, but in tangible ways, meeting their basic needs. Over a meal with Simon, Jesus has pity on a woman seeking forgiveness teaching us to have compassion for even the uninvited dinner guest. And finally, though there are many, many more examples, one of the meals that we hold most dear to our Christian faith is the meal that Jesus shared with his disciples. Rather than speaking of the suffering and the fear that he was about to experience, Jesus teaches us to focus on the needs of others. One of my favorite meals is always Christmas dinner. With aunts, uncles, cousins, and adoptees, there is a very packed house, only to be outdone by the dinner that can feed the multitudes. Place an order of entree inside, that is when the cameras really come out. Not only does every guest leave with full bellies, everyone leaves with a heart filled with community, joy, good conversation, and love. This holiday, I am excited to invite you to participate in sharing the joy, love, and compassion of Jesus through adopting a family at Housing Up by way of providing them with a holiday meal. On Thursday and Friday, December 17th and 18th, we will be collecting holiday meals for our families that have experienced this pandemic maybe a little differently than some of us. Though it's been a rough year for all of us, please consider joining us and letting them know that they are cared about, important, and loved. For more information or to sign up to adopt a family, please visit our website at columba.org.